diversity. Thank you. I call the member for Eden Monaro. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Eden Monaro is determined to put the challenges of 2020 behind us. The year has certainly taken its toll. The scars are deep, but bigger than that is the spirit with which communities are rising to make the most of the opportunities that come from adversity. We are a glass half full community. But the hits just keep coming from the Liberal national governments. Late yesterday, my office received news that the New South Wales government had rejected a funding application from the Batlow community. Back in January, the Duns Road fire came into town. Locals were told the town was undefendable and they were left to fend for themselves. And it seems they've been left to fend for themselves again by the New South Wales state government. Far from giving up, the Batlow fruit growing community applied to the New South Wales government's bushfire industry recovery package. Investment earmarked to grow and develop the Batlow economy and community to light the spark on Batlow's renewal. One local industry leader who wrote to me yesterday said, for Batlow not to receive any portion of the sector development funding is absurd. To not receive any assistance is to intentionally disregard what has happened. To have so many dignitaries use Batlow to show their empathetic concerns and be used to promote their own position after the fires and then to ignore Batlow when it counts is shameful. Mr Deputy Speaker, there for the photo op, but not for the follow-up. When I visited Batlow Apples in May and again in August, the impact was clear. You can see it in the landscape and you can see it on the face of growers. Batlow fruit growers lost around 30,000 trees, a 30% hit to production, not to mention the netting, infrastructure and machinery that was also lost. As a Batlow local told me yesterday, to be left out completely when so many promises were made is another hefty kick to the economic well-being and future of Batlow. Mr Deputy Speaker, I trust that the New South Wales State Government hasn't closed the door on Batlow, that they will look for ways to work with growers, business and community groups to do the right thing. Indeed, I know from previous Batlow community forums that the community is coming together, from community groups to residents and farmers to local business. They're talking about their renewal and looking for opportunities and positive outcomes for their town, following on from this disaster. I will continue to work with the Batlow community to make sure they get their fair share. And as the community would say, do it for Batlow. I call the member